Today we are talking vitamin B8 or inositol. And like all vitamin Bs, inositol is important for the production of energy, specifically the breakdown of fat. So if you're a distance runner, this is something you want to know about. Now technically, there is no vitamin B8, just like there is no vitamin B4, because inositol is, if you can look, really just a variation of the 6-carbon glucose molecule. So if your diet contains enough glucose or sugar, your body is able to make inositol. But it has vitamin-like qualities, so it used to be called vitamin B8. As always, the goal here is the more you know, the faster you run. So I want to demonstrate why this is important using a little science experiment. All right, here we have two glasses. This one is filled with water and cooking oil. And the other one is filled with water, cooking oil, and it added a little bit of laundry detergent. And what you'll quickly notice is something you probably already know, that oil and water don't mix, just like fat, which is an oil in the body doesn't mix well with water. And so you have this clear separation, you have a big fat globule. So in order to break down fat and use it for energy, the body needs a way to break down these big fat droplets into much smaller size that can then be transported throughout the body. So I'll stir both of these for a second. And so laundry detergent has um, agents in there that are very similar to what we'll talk about in a second called lipotropic agents. Agents that enable the fat to be broken down into much smaller molecules and much smaller bulbs. So already you can start seeing on this one, it's quickly coalescing back into those big spherical bubble droplets we saw at the beginning. Whereas over here, look how small and tiny these bubble droplets are. And then we can let this sit there and it'll continue. This will all kind of coalesce into the big starting state we have, whereas these bubbles remain really, really small and tiny. And so what's happening here is that the laundry detergent has the ability to actually help the water dissolve into the oil and allow it to separate to make these small, tiny bubbles. And these small, tiny droplets of fat are much easier to be digested and used by the body. Back to the chemistry. The body creates these same type of agents that help break down fat, and they're called lipotropic agents. And what they're characterized are with a one end, which has a lot of polar molecules, and another end, which has a lot of nonpolar molecules. See my previous video on that topic. And so what it enables it to do is to take this end, attach it to the fat, this end can attach the water and effectively serve as a bridge to break down the fat into those small bubbles that you saw. That's what you witnessed when we added the laundry detergent to the oil. And two of the best lipotropic agents in the body are right here in, in sodatol, which is what we talked about at the very beginning, attached to the long train. And then over here is another one we used before, and this is choline. So both of those molecules, which were vitamin B4 and then vitamin B8, are some of the body's most effective ways of breaking down fat into a viable energy source which would become particularly important in the world of distance running.